Hey guys, Black Templar here again. Next video in the process. So, just so you know, I went ahead and fixed that gray line, that silver line. Get this freaking thing to focus. Went ahead and fixed that silver line up top here. And I went ahead and did the second coat on the golds all around. Or the bronze are all around. I say gold just to hell with it. So, next thing we're going to do is the grays. There's a couple points of gray on this model. Uh, don't think I have my gray out, actually. Let me get it real fast. Um, the piping and the cabling are done in a, a dark and a light gray. So here's our dark, kind of like a gunmetal, and then a lighter sort of concrete gray. So that's what I'm we'll using next. Yeah. Starting with knocking shit over. Starting with the darker bits first. And this stuff is pretty sloppy to be honest, but I like it. I like it sloppy. Just saying. So this actually this part here is actually kind of important for a couple of reasons. Now the model is dominantly a couple of different colors, um, mostly blue and silver. I would have to say, if I had to pick two, it's probably gonna be gold and silver. Now, nothing wrong with that, of course, nothing at all. It's just that after a while, the eye will tend to get bored with just seeing gold and silver. So, in color theory, pretty sure there is anyway. I remember reading about it. Um, in color theory. The more colors you have, as long as it's limited to a certain number of them, the more interesting the model is to look at. So, just we could paint these cables and these these pipes here just that silver color, but to add more variety, we paint them this gray color, dark gray color. That way you don't get bored with just seeing the two colors by themselves. So we got one side there. One side just there. If we could get the thing there, it goes. One side just there. And I'm really just plopping this on. I'm not being real careful about it. That's because we're going to go over certain parts of it with another color anyway. So it's not too much of a big deal if I get it places I don't want it. Get this into the frame. There we go. I've been having a real good time painting this model actually. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best one to start out with. It's a little bit more difficult than the, the Hunter. The Hunter is a wonderful first model if you're thinking about getting into this. That is the easiest and most fun model I've ever painted in my life. Ever. And it comes out really well. It's You don't put a lot of effort into it and it comes out extremely well. It's so easy to get, to get right. And that's really what I like about it. And it was very fun to paint. And as I'm doing this, I am reminded that I didn't actually glue this model to its base. So I'm going to be kind of careful when I'm doing the undersides. And there we are. So there's two sets of piping. Two sets of piping. Got one set on the top there. And there's going to be another set just behind or just below the, the barrel looking thing. The gas tank looking thing. So I'll go ahead and drop on that oops trying to keep myself in the middle here it's a little bit hard because my desk is kind of far away and my chair is kind of close so I'm kind of like having to reach this awkward kind of position And it's nicer that those the, these ones down here are base coated already gray, so I can get away with a lot more. It's a lot easier. So now we got that second one painted gray. We can do this, or that third one painted gray. This is going to be our fourth one, fourth and final. Just get it in there. Actually, I'm just going to turn this bullshit off. My mouse cursor would do what I want it to do. I'm trying to get there we go oriented too. 
to nice bouncing stippling motion make sure the paint gets everywhere you need it to be and not in some places you don't want it to be and there we are fourth and final cable done pretty easy now the next thing we're going to do with this gray is that smokestack deal it's a little circle you can't really see it now but once I put paint on it you'll be able to see it really well because it's got a, a silver lining on it for some reason I'm not sure why and that really all that is is just going around this rim really lightly once or twice go and do it twice just for good measure and there you go now you can see it really well then the last thing is gray I think on here I'm pretty sure it's the last thing is this line here in the middle of the back of this this fuel tank I'm assuming it's the fuel tank I don't know what it could I could be the continuum trans function for all I know I don't know really what it is but I watered this down a little bit too much so rinse off some of the water dab off some of the water should I say and then come back with the brush full of paint Oop, fuck I wipe that off and get closer Just patch all that up and do the bottom. And there we are. We'll come back and fix that with silver since we got it a little places we didn't need it to be. So that's all the grays. This lighter gray, or the dark gray, this lighter gray, that's all the dark grays. This lighter gray is what we're going to get into next. And this is just the, the concrete color, it's going to be used on. The, there's like a there's the pipe and then you got some like some sort of uh, not rivets these kind of like clamps that are holding the pipe down so that's what we're gonna go over with this lighter it's lighter brown brown and it's just it's a gray sorry ah oh, man had a long day today sorry it's gray putting a lighter gray on it Justin okay. Fix up these clamp deals. Put a lighter gray on the clamp deals. There we have it. One side. This model is actually, in all reality, supposed to be a darker model. But these these cable deals or these pipe deals, like I like them to really be distinctive. So that's why we're putting this on here. Normally I would leave them, like in the Hunter I did, I just left them, I left them one color, this this darker gray metal color. Depending on how I like it when it's done, I might just go back over with it with the gray, but the darker gray, but I mean, I kind of like it how it is now. Um, I haven't exactly decided yet if I'm going to leave it. It's pretty nice though. Damn it. This autofocus is bad. <laughs> it is absolutely atrocious. That's okay though. And I think I did this nub too. Nope, I didn't do that nub a gray color. So we'll leave it that way. So that's pretty much the back end done, except for some touching up we have to do. Uh, we do need to do the other arms and stuff first. Before we go, well, we could probably go back and do, we can touch the other stuff up before we do the other arms. But we need to finish this torso so we can put the other arms on. And what that is going to require is what we're going to do next. And I say, like, expect it here for a little bit. I need to fix one silver part. And then we can go on to what's on its own process altogether, which is called weathering. And that's one of the most important processes on this model. And usually I would paint this insignia white before I did weathering. But... I don't really want to weather white because it'll look atrocious. It'll look really, really ugly. So I'm just going to go in and get this bolt. Where did it go? There it is. It's a big bolt, too. Um, turn off this bullshit for a second. So there's a bolt just right here that we're going to knock down. Make that 
that really stand out. There we go. Okay. Next thing is weather. Now, this is easy. You just gotta learn how to control it, really. That's all it is. Uh, you just gotta learn the method of the madness. Now, take a bottle cap, and I'm gonna drip some black paint into it. Some very, very little amounts of black paint. Now, you should use separate water for this, because this water I've been using has some little flakes of metallic in it, and you don't want your weathering to look metallic. But, for sake of not caring, I'm going to use it anyway. So what you're going to do, got a couple drops of black, a couple brushfuls of black is what I got in here right now, and then, grabbing some water, put just a little bit of water in here. Make sure you whirl it together. And you want a consistency that's that's pretty wet. So I'm going to be putting a little bit more water in here. And here's what we got. So you can see it flowing. It's kind of like an ink and that's really what you're after. We should in, in reality when you do a wash it's an ink. But since I don't have any right now, I'm just going to make my own. So I'm going to take that, get a nice bit of it in here, and I want to close this in because I really want you to see this part. Close this in. Okay. So I got it all in the brush. I'm just going to drop it in all the mechanical parts. Now, what is weathering? Weathering is when these machines are used, they're going to get dirty, very dirty at times. And you want to simulate that on the model. You want to simulate that on all the parts that would get ugly looking, just absolutely ugly looking. Because you want it to be more realistic. So I'm just going around everything that's mechanical and dropping this stuff in. And the underside too, because the underside is going to get nasty. Maybe closer to the ground. Everywhere you can. Just dabbing this stuff in. And we're doing this underside before I'm going in and painting it. It's important to note that actually. Going over those cables we just painted. There's an airplane flying overhead. Hitting this gearbox looking burner thing. Hitting the other cable. Hitting the box. And doing the face. Getting some from this side, dropping it in there. And drop it in these bolts, of course. And then the last thing is doing this back silver plate. And there we go. Could drop it in between the legs real fast. There we are. Now you can see everything in the engine area really pops and stands out now. And you're after that. All these mechanical bits, they look like they got oil stains and stuff on them. And you really want that. That's what you're after. And this is just the first part of weathering. You can do weathering on the solid bits too. I like to hold it really and focus on the engine area. The mechanical stuff. The eggs and all the, the, the legs. The legs, not the eggs. And all this piping and stuff. But, um... What we're going to do for the other stuff is uh, as highlighting, and I'm not going to do a whole lot of highlighting because I don't really, I really think this is a darker model in the game. So this has been the weathering part and the we did this, the piping, and then we did the silvery parts on some areas too. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Cheers.